today's video I have my everyday makeup routine and I don't actually wear makeup every single day like this is just kind of the makeup that I would wear if I was going out to town like going like shopping or whatever it's just my go-to look that I would wear other than this look I would have on other looks that I'd be filming like if I was filming a video or whatever like a dramatic look but if I was just doing like a normal day of filming I would always go for this kind of eye look and like this face maybe not this lip color but this lip color has been what I've been loving recently so I decided to include it because it's been my go-to look recently and I will leave all the products that I use down below in the description box if you want to go check that out but I really hope you guys enjoy this video and it's just kind of more of like a chatty relaxed video and I love my new background I love it here and my new lens makes everything look amazing and the sound quality I love my new camera everything's amazing but yeah if you want to know how to get this look just keep watching so I've already went ahead and applied my favorite ever moisturizer for days when I wear makeup and also my primer so my favorite ever moisturizer I'm sure you guys already know and my favorite primer is the MAC strobe cream and also my L'Oreal Lumi Magique primer base and I always see people like tweet me pictures of these products like paired together saying they bought them because of me and it's literally so amazing because I always use these products and I always rave about them so much and they're definitely one of my top ever favorite products. So now I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Again I just love having a really hydrated base before I apply my foundation and stuff because it makes my skin like so much more healthier and glowy and it just makes my makeup last a lot longer too so I'm just going to go ahead and spritz this onto my face. It literally feels so hydrating and some people say they don't like the smell I literally love the smell it's just like a really like soft scent I don't even know what you could describe it as but it's just so gorgeous I love it for my foundation I'm going to be taking my NARS um what's this called again all day luminous weightless foundation this again is one of my holy grail foundations I know it is kind of expensive but it literally works so well and it, you literally just do get what you pay for it's amazing it has super good coverage but it feels so light and it's a really thin consistency so it just looks like your skin but better and adds quite a bit of coverage too and mine is in the shade um, Light 5 which is Fiji and it matches me so well. I kind of have a little bit of tan on right now it's pretty natural though it's just like a nice kind of glowy colour but this matches it so well so that's why I'm using this one. So what I do is I just take some pumps under my hand as you can tell it's really runny and what I do is I just kind of place it on all over my face just areas where basically I apply my foundation. You could apply it directly onto the sponge but I think if you like kind of set your foundation on a sponge for too long it basically just absorbs it all up whether you dampen it or not but I just like to apply it onto my face first and then blend in. So what I basically do is just bounce the sponge onto my skin. I've just been loving sponges like I used to always use my like Sigma flat top kabuki brush and don't get me wrong I love that brush so much but I just love the finish that sponges give. It's just like a really airbrush, like natural look, but yet still kind of provides still loads of coverage. It doesn't look cakey at all. So for my brows recently, I've been using the Too Faced Bulletproof Brows in Universal Taupe. Because I haven't included me doing my brows for so long, I have kind of switched it up. But I just use this, basically just do the same technique. And this is the only thing that's changed because I still do use my Anastasia Brow Palette thing and my Benefit Gimme Brow to set them. But this is the only kind of main product that's changed. whenever I have my brows done I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pro Palette and if you do like freelancing makeup or wanting to get into makeup and you're wanting to do other people's makeup for a living or whatever or just for some extra cash I'd so recommend this it is kind of expensive to start off with but if you think about it you're getting like all the these different colors for people's brows and you can also use them as eyeshadows too because you're getting a brow primer as well and I've literally used pretty much all of them because obviously I get people with loads of different eyebrow colours and stuff. I kind of always stay towards this kind of area because this is like really dark but I pretty much use all of them all the time and it's such a handy little palette to have. But for my own eyebrow colour I always take a mix between these two just together and this is the one in taupe and it's this one here. It just comes with a more kind of ashy colour and then a more brown colour and I just mix them together and then just kind of pat it into my eyebrows just to set the um, brow product in place so it lasts all day. So I basically just kind of pad the product into my brows and it really does work like my eyebrows will stay all day long and they won't budge at all and it also just kind of mattifies the cream because sometimes the cream can have like a little bit of a sheen to it and it makes your eyebrows look almost as if they have like hair gel on them or something because they have like a really glossy effect so adding powder just like mattifies that and makes it look a lot more natural and then what I do is I take my Benefit Gimme Brow and this is just the light to medium one and I do have the dark one too I would use it sometimes as well but just depends on how I'm feeling that day I suppose but I use this to set the um, actual hair in place like the powder was used to set the actual cream product in place and this is used to actually set the hair down in place so it doesn't kind of go all scraggly throughout the day and I just really like really lightly 
just feather it through my brows. To highlight around my brows and to make them look really sharp, I've been loving using my LA Girl Pro Conceal, which is the high definition concealer, and mine is in the shade Porcelain, which is the lightest shade. And I love this because it's just so quick and easy. You don't need to have a brush, you don't need to have like a separate concealer because it's all in one. As you can see, you have the brush as well. So what I like to do is just kind of squeeze it and then just place the product on the back of my hand just so that I don't get like a big blob of product, but it also like really evenly distributes the product through the brush hair as well. And then what I do is I basically just go straight along the bottom under underneath my brow like that and then I also go around the tops as you can see it's just so quick and easy then whenever I have that done I just like to go with a little fluffy brush and this just blends out really seamless like because the brush isn't really dense it barely even moves the product but it just blends out the edges really nicely and just makes it look really seamless but really natural as well because it doesn't look like a really harsh line or anything. So now I like to move on to my concealer because my everyday eye makeup isn't really dramatic. I like to do my base makeup first because if I was to do like a really smoky eye or whatever I would always go on with my eye makeup first and then my base but because my eyeshadow is like really simple and like it doesn't include loads of fallout or whatever I just love to do my base makeup first for a change because I love just switching it up and I just apply this concealer just on the high points of my face to highlight and I love highlight and contouring, it's like my favourite thing. And this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Light 1 which is the shade Chantilly which is the lightest shade. I like to blend this pretty quick because I used to apply my highlight like this and then go in and do my contour and then blend it all together. But I've noticed that this sets really quickly and it's really tough to blend if you don't blend it like really fast. And I used to end up having to like spray my sponge with like some Fix Plus to kind of like add more moisture back into it. Then what I like to do is I like to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I've been loving this recently. As you can tell, I've actually nearly finished it because I've been squeezing it out so much. I love it. And this one is in the shade Toast. And as I said in one of my previous videos, I do have beautiful bronze as well. But it's more of like an orangey like bronze colour. Whereas this is more on the cool tone. It's still really dark. But it's in a really dark shade because I use it for contouring and kind of bronzing. But the beautiful bronze one is a little bit too warm for my skin. So I like this one a lot better. I just squeeze a little bit out and then I just apply it like just above my cheekbone because when you start to blend it kind of blends down to that area anyway so I kind of just like curl it around just to kind of lift my cheeks and then also around my temple and then I also like to take like the tiniest bit down the sides of my nose and I also really love to contour my chin just to make my chin like like more like like out more. I just love contouring my chin. I love that kind of like kind of chin that sits out and it just makes your jawline look really like forward and structured. To blend that out I take this MAC M130 um, and it's just the like small stippling brush and I basically just like keep on rubbing and rubbing and it just kind of just starts to blend in with my foundation. I blend it in kind of messily first of all and then I go back in at the end to really seamlessly blend it in. Then whenever I have the majority of that blended in I take my beauty blender sponge and just kind of really pat it on those areas just to kind of blend everything together and it just makes it a lot more seamless and it's really hard to kind of blend out your nose contour because no brush, like a smaller brush would really just kind of blend it out really precisely but you kind of need like a bigger kind of object to kind of soften it out because a small brush kind of just drags the product up and down, it doesn't really blend it too much but then if you go with a big brush it kind of defeats the purpose so what I basically do is just put my beauty blender at the sides of my nose and it just really makes the product melt into my skin and I keep on thinking like I haven't blended my contour right but it's like the hair dye all over my face. I just like pat it in and it just really melts it into my skin. I found my all time favourite under eye setting powder which works so well for me and this is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in one. It's the more kind of light colour and I just take quite a lot of it on a brush and this is the Luxe Face Focus Brush from Zoeva and what I do is I just take quite a lot on the brush and just really pat it on under my eyes to ensure that my under eyes do not crease. And the reason why I like this so much is because like the little powder follicle like things are so fine so it does not look cakey at all. Then what I do is I just go back in with the same brush and just really like pad that in. And I love this brush because it's kind of like a little small kind of paddle brush from Zoeva and it's so good just for padding product in under the eyes. So now what I'm going to do to set the rest of my face, I'm taking my NARS powder in Beach and I recently just got this and I love it so much. And I'm taking my big Real Techniques powder brush because this is what makes my makeup last so long. So what I do is I basically just pat it onto the areas that I contoured and stuff just to make sure that it's really set in place. So to contour my skin, I'm taking my Kat Von D shade and light palette. I either just use this one or my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I like them both equally the same, but I kind of do use my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette more. I do get more use out of it because the colors suit my skin more. My NARS eye brush, and just take this color here, and I kind of dab it into this color here, just to kind of lighten it up a little bit as well. And I just take some of that onto the brush. And then because we applied our powder beforehand, this will make my contour blend really nicely. What I do is I just kind of blend it in there. And it just gives such a gorgeous, subtle contour. 
bring the brush back and forth just to kind of blend it out. That's just such a nice contour colour. And then I also take it round these sides. It's kind of my temple area just to really make that look like a natural kind of sun-kissed look and to kind of slim down my face as well. To further bronze up my skin, I've been loving this bronzer from Too Faced. This is the Endless Summer 16 hour long wear and I love this because it lasts all day long. And I'm just taking it on this Sedona Lace um, 850 brush. And what I do is I just kind of place my brush into the colour, tap it off and just kind of run it along all the areas that I contoured only a little bit more higher up. So basically just kind of run it along my cheekbones, not so specific to like the contour lines. I just kind of run it along like everywhere just to give my skin like a bronze glow. So for blush, this is like the star of the show and I cannot believe I'm saying that because I'm not really a blush fan, but this blush like literally has made me fall in love with blushers. Like now that I'm kind of getting into it, I just want to buy blushers all the time now just to kind of see what suits my skin best. But honestly, this one, it's drugstore, it's affordable and it's like the most gorgeous color ever. It's really similar to NARS Orgasm, but why get NARS Orgasm when you can just have this and it's literally identical? And I take this on the Zoeva Lux 105 brush and I actually take quite a generous amount. Usually when I used to apply blush, I took the smallest amount just to kind of make it look like I was wearing blush. But now I literally take loads and the reason why I love this is because it has a lovely golden shimmer and it just adds to the dewy glow to the skin. And what I do is I just kind of like pout my cheeks and just run it along. Then I just go back in with my big powder brush just to kind of blend it out a little bit. From this thumbnail picture you would have seen like my really intense highlight and I love really golden skin in the summertime. So for that I take my Smashbox LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Colour and it's just like a big massive crayon thing and what I do is I basically just do like a strip along my cheeks like that and then I go back in with a brush just like any kind of like tapered brush or whatever. This is just the Sigma Tapered Kabuki brush and what I do is I just kind of like pat it into my skin. And then because that was like a cream highlight we applied, I want to obviously set it with a really luminous like powder to set it in place so it doesn't like slip and slide throughout the day. And for that gorgeous glow that you see in my like thumbnail picture and that I've been wearing all the time on Instagram, it's all thanks to this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Moonstone and it's just the more kind of pale one. And I really want to get the new Jaclyn Hill one in Champion Pop, it looks amazing. Take it on this Sigma Tapered Highlight Brush and I basically just kind of set it down where I applied the cream and I kind of go around like the tops like that. So for my transition colour, it's really inexpensive. I'm taking this sleek um, eyeshadow palette in Storm and this is such a really good palette. It has such nice wearable colours and I've used them all and the colours are literally amazing, amazing quality. And I'm taking this matte brown colour here on just this Sigma fluffy brush and this eye look is literally so quick and if I wasn't speaking to the camera right now I could probably have this look complete look done in about 15 minutes maximum probably and I always leave myself enough time to get ready anyway but if I was in a rush I wouldn't do as much like contouring and stuff I would just kind of basically bronze I'll always do my brows and maybe this look or even just mascara or whatever but what I'm doing is just kind of buffing this through my crease and it's just so simple and this brush literally does all the work for you because it's so soft and so nice and just blends the colour and applies it really gorgeously. It's just one of the little small Sigma brushes, it's the blending E25. And then going back in with my Kat Von D shade and light palette and just taking like pretty much like all of the colours really mixed. I just kind of put my brush in all of them and it's just the same brush that I'm using again and again I'm just applying this to the crease although not really so much kind of more messy and kind of focusing it more on like the outer corner of my lid. I basically go ahead and do what I done on the top on the bottom just to kind of make it really smoky because I love like the really smoky effect. So I'm just taking this little brush from Nanchi which is the eye crease brush. Going back in with this colour from Sleek and just applying it right along my lower lash line. Then I'm going back in with my Kat Von D palette and just taking all the colours again on this hair and makeup addiction brush and just applying this more onto the outer corner. For my brow bone and inner corner highlights, I go in with my Smashbox Blendable Lip and Cheek Colour again, the one that I use on my cheeks. And this is in the shade Hollywood and Highlight again. And I'm just taking it on my finger and I'm applying this technique to the top of my brow bone and also my inner corner. So I just kind of place it on just below my brow bone. And I'm also going to take some into the inner corners as well. So I just take this highlight powder and just set it right on top where I applied that cream highlight just to set it in place and just to give like extra glow. Okay so now that's basically my eyes done I'm just going to go ahead and apply my lashes and my mascara and then I'll be back to do the lips with you guys so two seconds. That was four, two I mean. So for my lips I've literally been loving purple lips and I have actually just applied my eyelashes and I actually really like these ones as well they're so nice and like fluttering amazing. So for my lips as I said I've been loving purpley lips so um 
this is like basically the color that I wear on a daily basis and this is the NYX lip liner in prune and it's just like a dark purple and then for my actual lip color I've been mixing the craft liquid lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills and also the Bambi one I apply this one first and then put this one in the center and just kind of like blend my lips together so I'm gonna do that right now <laughs> Here is basically the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I mentioned at the start, I will have all the products that I use down below. And as I mentioned before, I don't wear this every single day. I just wear it on days where I want to go shopping or like want to do some things because I just love the way it makes my skin look, my brows, my lips, whatever else, my eyes as well. But yeah, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy and I will see you in my next one. Bye!